Jeff Glor is in Buffalo tonight. Good evening, Jeff. Hey Kelly, good evening to you. The NTSB just wrapped a briefing a short time ago. We did learn some new details, including how quickly this plane fell 800 feet in just five seconds. But it appears the main focus is still on the issue of the icing. And this investigation may have just gotten a bit more complicated. A glimpse of the plane's tail can be seen behind this blue tarp beyond a green tent as workers continue the difficult, delicate process of removing victims from the crash site. At the same time, investigators look for reasons why the plane went down, with more attention on the de-icer, for example. It was turned on 11 minutes after departure from Newark, and it remained on the entire rest of the flight. And whether the ice conditions were so bad that the plane should not have been in autopilot, as it was on Thursday night. I think pilots will say you need to pay particular attention when you're flying a turboprop in icing conditions. Ice buildup on the wing was a problem discussed by the pilot and first officer just before the plane began pitching and rolling wildly. Seconds later, Continental Flight 3407 fell out of the sky onto a single home on Long Street in Clarence Center. Assistant Fire Chief Tim Norris was the first rescue worker on the scene. There is no amount of training that can prepare you. His chief, Dave Case, grew up on Long Street. And I will never forget the words out of the dispatcher's mouth. Um, you have a plane down, house on fire. And uh, it just, my wife got up and I said to her, what did he just say? They knew immediately it would not be a rescue situation. Something out of a movie. Um, a house completely flattened, completely flattened. There, there wasn't a peak, there wasn't anything else. Uh, flames 60, 70 feet in the air. Thick, black, angry smoke. Case and Norris both live less than a quarter mile from the crash site. Planes pass over their neighborhood every day. We're right in the middle of the approach. They are both amazed that where the plane came down in such a populated part of Clarence Center, no other houses were hit. You lived only 1,500 feet away. Have you processed how close this hits the home, literally? It's not fully sunk into my brain yet. It's one of those things that you don't think it'll happen, and it did. One of the issues here, as far as the investigation goes, is significant ice versus severe ice. The pilots reported significant ice buildup on the wing, but the NTSB says so far they have not seen conditions that would warrant being called severe icing. And it seems those two things need to be reconciled before the investigation goes too far. Kelly? Yeah, Jeff, and I know the NTSB recommends a plane being removed from autopilot in severe icing conditions, but doesn't require it. Why isn't it a requirement? Well, that's a very good question. And what happens here is the NTSB makes the recommendation. They look at all the evidence. They make the recommendation that it should be taken off autopilot. But the FAA is the one that sets policy. And in this case, for various reasons, the FAA said uh, that's not the case here. There is a disagreement between the NTSB and the FAA.